Today, we're going to be climbing 463 steps to the top of the Florence Dome. And Mateo just smacked his head. And 414 steps to the top of the bell tower. I am very claustrophobic. We're getting narrower here. How are you doing back there? I feel like it would be easier to crawl up these ones. My butt is on fire. And even though this structure is over 700 years old, for some reason, we still trust it. Plus, there is bonus footage of what didn't make the cut in the full episode on our main channel. By order of the police. So stretch your legs, grab a bottle of water, and subscribe to follow the adventure. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. <laughs> After waking up, getting ready, Hibernating, eh? And most importantly, having our coffee. We're off to Piazza del Duomo, but not before hitting a weird snag. There's like some main game today that like the Scottish are playing the Italians. We just came into one of these little shops by the Duomo to get a little energy drink, just to, we're feeling a little sleepy this morning. And they're not selling like any alcoholic bottles or alcoholic cans because of this event. That's insane. By order of the police. But we were just getting a monster and they still wouldn't sell it to us because it's in a can even though it's just an energy drink and it's non-alcoholic because i guess that's how crazy like things get here for this game which is just wild like nobody's allowed to buy anything in a can it's plastic bottles only which is just nuts i've never seen that before wait okay, so what so do we do nothing what are we supposed to do we just wanted to come out and have a normal day of recording but there's chanting coming on from down the streets there there's signs up everywhere for not selling alcohol. These dudes are crawling everywhere. So we're gonna see our little monuments here in Piazza del Duomo and see what happens in between. Says madness. We might be journalism later with some riots and stuff going on. So things could get exciting. So stick by. Oh, yeah. We're in the line. Mishu does in fact not have as much energy as we thought she would. She needs a coffee, but she'll get her energy when she climbs the steps. I think there might be four stages. Oh, there's a stairway to heaven. Oh, there's a breeze. Oh, how delightful. Are you enjoying it so far? Uh, yeah. See, now you get the last judgment. Is it because I'm going to die at the top? Yeah. judgment that's painted on the inside of the dome. It's incredible. And you can see directly down into the church also. 
There's like plexiglass here so that you don't fall. Stopping. Any thoughts? Super cool. This is one of those this is one of those experiences that's super hard to capture on film and even in pictures because on film, how old are you? I meant like the <laughs> No, the, the dome is incredibly large. You don't realize how large it is until you're standing inside it. Be sure to bring some Advil or something because your neck's gonna start hurting from how much there is to look at. Our necks have been like straight up all day and it's like you just don't want to stop looking down. We're like halfway right now. She said there's still 200, and 200 or so steps, so we're halfway. And our break is over. How are you doing back there? I'm strong. It's getting very windy. 200 of these things, huh? So now that we've reached the inside of the dome, we're going to keep climbing until we get between the internal and external dome and you climb between the two to reach the top before you reach the 21 meter lantern that is sitting on the top. This is the external dome. It's actually a lot more space than I thought there would be. It gets smaller. Oh god, okay, never mind. It's more narrow. <laughs> so these bricks, when they talk about the herringbone pattern of the bricks locking together, this is what it is. small these steps are. It's like a half a step. Literally. It's not even the length of a full foot. So now we are climbing up the internal dome to reach the top between the internal and external. It's the steepest part.
Delicious. Was the climb worth it? It's definitely worth the climb. To be honest, 463 steps sounds like a lot, but it didn't feel like that much. I don't know, and everyone's really nice in the group, so it was fun. We actually got to the top a lot faster than I thought we would, and the view is incredible. The only thing is now we're getting kicked out, so like your time is your time. You only get 45 minutes, and now someone's coming around telling us to go down, so yeah, <laughs> make the most of your time up here. It's way better coming now in October than it is in mid-summer. So it's like perfect. You get a little bit hot on the way up, but then there's a breeze once you get up here cools you down. Definitely worth it. It's so breezy up here. When we first got up here it was super packed and now people are starting to clear out. So it's a little bit quieter. It is a little bit tough to enjoy these things when there's so many people but you know if you hang out just a little bit longer you'll have a little bit more room to really just take in the views and enjoy yourself. Before you get kicked out. Before you get kicked out. Okay, our time is up. Keep you to your 45 minute limit. So someone's come around now to tell us that we gotta head back down because the next group's coming up. How are you feeling about the climb down? I'm honestly a little bit still concerned about it. Going downstairs is also tricky, but especially these, these first ones that are right at the top, that it's like a half a step. So we will see. Maybe I'll just scoot down on my butt. Looks like we're just going into a little hobble there. I might actually just scoot down on my butt. Or sideways, actually. It's like literally like you're scaling down the dome. It's not wild. It's like you're walking down. <laughs> Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Okay. Seriously, it's like limbo going down. I'm worried I'm going to smack my head. Okay. And Mateo just smacked his head. So, word of warning if you're a little bit taller, duck. <laughs> You're like an average height. The walk down is so much faster. Fun. So, so that's... back we go. What a treat! Sit back and smack my head a bit hard. Huh? Yeah, this part will make you dizzy. Definitely. Methinks we're close to the bottom. Just like that, we're back at the bottom. We've been wanting to check out this cool looking restaurant that also doubles as a record shop and has a perfect view of the cathedral while you eat. That's it. So we've come to this place called Move On. It's an Italian pub and rec store that's right next to the Duomo. And honestly, it's a really nice place to just grab a drink and a bite to eat. We're really craving hamburgers today, so that's what we got. And we're sharing this massive stein of beer. Delicious. So, it's time to dig in before we climb the bell tower. That was honestly one of the best burgers I've had in Italy so far, so definitely recommend Move On if you want a burger. And now it's time to climb the dome. We're doing a little sunset climb. We specifically saved it for the end of the day. 
so that we could see the sunset. Climb has begun. Same. So in the tower, you're lucky because there's less steps than climbing to the top of the dome. And by less, I mean there's 414 steps. Oh, look, I'm gonna suck. The midsections are my favorite because you get a natural break without feeling bad that you're holding up the line in the stairwell. I know. Okay, break's over. Having a burger and beer before we did this probably maybe wasn't the smartest idea. And also the fact that we climbed to the top of the dome yesterday, our legs are a little bit sore. Let's go, we got this. This is a cute stable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you think it's cute? Cute stable. I must say, I really am a fan of these mid-break sections because you can just take a minute and enjoy the breeze. From my understanding, the bells back in the day when they rung in the evening, it meant that it was time to come back into the city walls as night is approaching. I think they're here. So it just feels a little bit like easier. You're not being kind of herded with a bunch of other people at the same time. Oh look, and there's a break area. to like the half step situation where it only feels like half a step. People are taking breaks midway in the little window holes. Pretty smart. Imagine what it felt like standing up here 500 years ago before you had planes or anything that lifts you higher than this altitude. This was a slight oversight on my part. This might sound really dumb, but I did not think that there would be cages up here. Like, you know, it's obviously for our, your protection, so like nothing happens. But on the top of the Duomo, you have an open air view, you know, so that's nothing obstructing your view. Up at the top of the tower, you are surrounded by these metal fences, literally in a circle. They just go all around. But, uh, you know, you can still peer through it and see the view. It's just, yeah, not as clear as the top of the dome. We're like two little chickens in a chicken coop <laughs> without the snacks, the grain. Oh, you know, chickens can escape through this.
We stayed up here till the sun set to see all the city lights turn on. After being at the tower for approximately three hours, we are now making our way down. It ends up being actually super cool because you get to stay up there for pretty much as long as you want. So we got to watch before sunset to sunset and then when the lights all turned on for the city and it became dark. Definitely worth it. I know the cage is a little bit weird, but you kind of get swept up in the beautiful views. So you forget the cage is actually there. And yeah, it's just a really special feel at the top of the city, hearing all the city sounds and the ambulances and the street sounds and the people having fun down below. Quite an awesome experience. I feel like I'm going down to the train to